Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2018 TV with Olympic Leonese and things have been awful. I have to be honest, this is probably the most testing time when I played last night on Football Manager I've had in a long time. It's been really infuriating, like the squad hate each other. Like this group of players, just they hate each other. I mean, there's been a lot that's gone on. We've had a lot easier games, but we have not climbed the table very much whatsoever. If you look at the recent form there, it says inconsistent, and that is 100% true. I have not been able to make any tactic in the world of man work correctly. They just cannot play together. Um, if it's struggling from scoring goals, it's struggling to not concede goals, it's it's been very ridiculous, but we have had January, so let's quickly run through the transfers, uh, da, 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 transfers, transfer history, and quite a bit happened, I say quite a bit happened, we signed one player, Raphael Toloi, um, I just know him as a pretty solid centre-back, and I feel like we needed some stability at centre-back, so hopefully him coming in, he can, he can do bits, hopefully, and going out, <coughs> was quite a few, it was always going to happen, Maxwell Cornet left to West Brom for 5.25 million, potentially rising to 6.25. Uh, Luis Aurelio, who came in, has been awful. We sold him for 5 to rising to 5.75 million. I can't remember what I signed. I think I signed him for 6. So, no, we signed him for bang on 5. So, we've actually still made money off him. Andreas Pereira, we made a, a mint off of him. He came in on a free. We sold him for 18 million. He's done next to nothing for us. Really hasn't been good at all. I don't know why his stock was still so high. But we got a really good price for him. Papa Cheke went to Barmer for 3.8 million. And then recently, Jors Gannigan went. So, that's when I, you know... Ruffled around and looked for defenders and came up with Toloi, who is better than Gannigan, to be honest with you. But Gannigan went for, again, to me, a real good deal. 18.25 million. The guy has not pulled up any trees since he's been here. First season, played nine games. He was injured a lot. He looked like he had promise at the start of this season, but just hasn't done it. Just hasn't become the player we expected him to become. So let's quickly run through the schedule before we get into this game, which I'm hoping is not a loss. So after the Strasbourg game, it has been very inconsistent. Has, as you can see, we've just hit blips. It's been very tough. For the first time, the board are actually not happy with me. They believe I'm performing under what I should be, which is 100% true. Um, so it is a little bit of a worry that we may get sacked. Last season, it may be the last season because we may get sacked. But after we beat Strasbourg 2-0, we played Montpellier and beat them 4-1. Dembele getting a double and Memphis getting a double. We then played against Red Bull Leipzig, which meant we qualified for the Euro Cup. I didn't think we was going to do it and we left it very late. But Andre Schürrle and Sergi Drada scored really late on. And we actually have European football to keep us going. Not that we really need the distraction, but it might be a nice distraction. Uh, we then lost to Toulouse 1-0 in the 89th minute, so that just tells you how well things are going. And then lost to Lille on penalties, which was again frustrating. Just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. At this point, we were doing well uh, not to concede. The, the Toulouse one was really unlucky, but we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Then against Rems, we managed to put it in the back of the net twice, but they still beat us 3-2. They went 2 up in the 4th and 5th minute. I was very happy. Then we hit a little bit of a nice blip. A 3-1 victory against uh, Monaco was just superb. Fakir scored for them, but Rosalia, Dembele and Santa Maria scored for us. So I was quite happy and thought maybe this would be the change. We were unlucky to lose against FC Nantes. It was very frustrating. It was two on goals, but Luis Aurelio, if you watched it, I'll show you the on goal. If it'll let me show you it now. Um, I can't remember how I go into it. Do I go on pitch? Goals only. <coughs> I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. No? Aha, here we go. Generating the match report. You can see it was a pretty even game. To be honest with you, we maybe didn't deserve to win. But it was the way we gave away uh, the goal. So that they got a draw. It was very frustrating. Let's just watch it. Watch this. Watch how fantastic this is. It it just it if this had been on live stream, I think I'd have lost my crap. Look at this. This is easy for us. Oh no, let's do that. Yeah. 
That's the kind of goals we've conceded. That is the kind of thing I've had to contend with in trying to keep my sanity. We didn't play against Troyes, who were bottom of the table, but only managed to beat them 2-1, and it took an 85th minute goal from Hackenshaw Noglu uh, to get that. Uh, Rens, we lost 2-0. Uh, Danilo getting sent off again. Angers, we lost 3-2. You know, but, uh, near enough bottom of the table at the time. I think they were 19th. Yeah, 3-2 great result we then have recently played another three or two against Mets which we came on off on the better side which was a complete strip down tactic this is the only game I played it was going to be the live combo I said I need a game I need a game to look at a tactic before I do it so we played the game played a new tactic it's it, it, mm, it worked okay we picked up a win if we can hit a small amount of form would be really nice now because of the squad we've got we should win the rest of the games uh, the squad is extremely well it's gone to good now oh there's now apparently a good sense of unity there wasn't a minute ago when Tanelli came and had a conversation with me said that the uh, the groups are hopefully a few a few games of winning uh, but this is the tactic I played in the last game it was similar to this. This is a counter version of that said tactic. It was similar to this tactic though. I played a more standard tactic. Because Mets is a team that 100% we should be beating. Um, I don't know if it'll work. I really don't. I'm not playing a sweeper keeper though. Raphael, uh, Raphael Toloi uh, can play the ball playing defender. I don't know if it'll work. But I'm trying to strip down a tactic now and get one. Because everything I've tried... It's just really not work. So we're back to the drawing board. This team should be doing better in the competition standings we are currently. And Marseille have a game in hand. And uh, so do Lille. So this is how, how like tense it is. We're currently fourth. We could see ourselves drop down to fifth uh, quite easily. We need to start doing something now. We really, really need to start doing something now. Because... Uh, it's not going well. Now the board, all they want us to do is qualify in third position. So we do keep our job if we finish third. But mass change. I said it at the start of the season. I said mass change isn't always a good thing on FM. It hasn't been this year. There has been some players that have, have shone through and that are doing well. But we definitely will not be making the amount of changes we made this season ever again. I mean, we got rid of quite a lot of key players. But it's just, it's really not gone. Um, right, let's pick the team for this game. Remembering the league game is more important after this, but they do, they do want us to get the semi-final. Lucas Toussaint can come in for Bakayoko. Tonelli can come in for Marcelo. So he still needs to be playing. Danilo can come in for Mass. Now, Bulin will still play. Mendy's still injured. Uh, Dillinger. Hmm. He needs to be trained as a, a midfielder, really, I think. Shinoglu on the left. And Rosalia. Let's edit this as well. I don't want you shooting less often. Uh, you could shoot less, less often, shoot less often, shoot less often. No. Instructions. Cannot. Uh, and two sat. Needs to be shooting less often. And fewer risky passes. I'm really, really hoping we can start turning stuff around. Another victory here would be decent. Let's start Dembele as well, because he didn't start in the last game. Rosalé is going to start again. Uh, apart from uh, El Ghazi, I don't really have another right-sided midfielder. I think that'll definitely be one. 100% something we look at towards next season. Let's go with that. Submit the team. Let's go with it. Let's roll with it. It's probably not, not going to go well. This is just my mindset, and I don't know if... I'm sure other people get the same mindset, but you know when you just hit that run? And you hit a run of nothing is going right. You just hit that run of absolutely nothing is working. And that's what it felt like. 
when I was playing last night. Absolutely nothing. Ever. No matter what I changed. If it worked for one game, it then didn't work for the second game. So the changes where you've seen where we've won, it might have worked for that game, but then it wouldn't work for the second game. So it's like, well, what the hell do I play? What tactic do I play? Because it's not consistently working. It's, it's working for one game, and then not the other. So it was very frustrating. I'm going to have to change this to key as well. It was very frustrating. Found it very, very frustrating. Um... So, I think it's really going to take drawing board route out a, a tactic that we can just get that just we just win with. I'll be happy just to win. Because we're not winning. We're not winning often, anyway. And we're just conceding so much, which is frustrating. Let's go standard, because standard worked better with this, I think. And take pass into space off. And let's look for the overlap because we've got inside forwards. Let's be disciplined. And I don't really want to be wide. Let's go with this. <coughs> Are we going to concede here? Because I feel like we will do. I feel like today's game has loss written all over it. One, because it's a live com, and two, because we're already 1 0 down. That's why. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if any of you have got any advice whatsoever. If you've ever hit spots like this. Because this is the first time really um, this year that I've found, um, found myself in such a difficult spot. There's always been swapping to a tactic and then it works for a consistent run until you come up against a big team and then it doesn't work. In, in this, nothing has worked. You know, there's been no... I can't find a tactic to, to settle and for the team to play well. I mean, and this is the biggest thing I'm finding. We give the ball away for fun. We pass and give the ball away for absolute fun, like Rosalie did then. So it's a bit frustrating. And runs like that, you know, pass the ball, move the ball. We're not moving the ball. So I, I want to... dribble less I think but yeah I'm having a real tough time of it at the minute it's uh, it's been very frustrating dribble less they're gonna score I think will Dembele get onto that what's okay he's on it please score it Dembele we're back in it 1-1 one, one. We don't deserve to be though. This is the this is the problem. We've not looked convincing at any point, apart from like the first two games of the season. The first two games of the season, I, I felt like I was like, yeah, we, there's a possibility we could win this this year. This control tactic that that I liked last year is working really well, and then no, just nothing. Nothing. Found it very difficult. Um, we play really well until we hit that blip. Actually, you know when we hit the blip where we played. All the best teams, all in one foul swoop. And ever since that point, um, I found it difficult to get anything that's been anywhere near consistent. Dressing room. <coughs> we could still win this. Who's not playing well? Rosalia, you're a wonder kid. You should be playing better than this. Let's just give him a bit of a boost. He listened keenly, but it didn't really. You. You. Defensively. I'm not happy. Go out there, fired up. Um, and I think that should be it. Do I want to change the tactic up a bit? Is it early crosses? And play out a defence. Let's go with that. Start the second half. Very tentative. And a 1 1 is not really what we're looking for. We play knees twice in a row as well, which is a bit. A bit of a ball ache. I'm hoping for better performances. Is Chinoglu going to get up? Let's see how this works. 
We just I just want us to be better in possession. I already know we're awful out of possession. I just want us to be better in possession. Uh, because we really struggle to think they're going to score here. Right? They look like they're breaking us apart. This is the problem with key highlights. You kind of know if they're coming forward. It's, it's most likely going to be a goal. As he crosses this one in. We give him the space to cross it. And it will be. No it won't. It's gone over. See. That, that is. I've seen so many of them at the minute. Us giving the ball away on a throw. And, and you can quick break so quickly. If you give the ball away on a throw. I'm going to have to look at. Nambulin because when he he gives the ball away from throwing consistently I'm pretty sure he's our best throwing taker but he just gives it away so consistently Rosalea finds Chinoglu can we find a good movement here Santa Maria he finds Rosalea which is good early cross Dembele I think he was onside usually in key highlights they don't show you the offside goals brilliant Rosalie with the ball as well, which makes me happy. <coughs> yeah, I think if we just get better in possession, because we're not good in possession at the minute, which is the biggest issue. Uh, if we get better in possession of the football, like that scenario there, and like that situation there, then I will be happier. Let's go contain. Until they score now. Um, let's pause it actually because it was an actual highlight let's retain possession let's do normal tempo yeah let's go with that I haven't used stuck in much this year I used stuck in a lot they're going to rip us apart here is this going to be a goal it's I thought it was going to be an own goal. See, why are we passing it back to them? That is a poor clearance. That is the, that is an awful goal because of the sense of the two clearances we just had. We just had two clearances. Why are we just gifting them? Look, Toloi's okay isn't too bad. But this one by Nambulin, why are we giving him the ball back there? This is what's really driving me insane at the minute. Um, with this game really really pushing me to my edge um, let's go back to standard <coughs> higher tempo <sighs> um Changes can we make? It's 65th minute. There's got to be some changes here. You know, Bulin is having a absolute awful game, which is no surprise there, is it? Let's be honest. Taloy's not playing well. She's playing as a central defender, which is great because that's what I brought him in to do. Not play well. It's this this constant ability for us to to concede, which is. <coughs> driving me insane there's not a game that goes by if we score you can guarantee stats wise that then when they start applying pressure they scored quite quickly after um so it's very frustrating and we've conceded a lot of goals this season due to individual mistakes like nambul in there he's on full backs apart why is he pulling himself out of position they're supposed to be disciplined it's very frustrating. And our ability to clear the football has become very apparent in this game, hasn't it? Masonda, that we cannot clear the football. So I'm going to tell him to stick to positions because we're clearly not good when we're roaming from our positions. They need to be more structured and more disciplined and doing what the tactic is saying because at the minute we are absolutely rubbish. Masonda goes close there, hits the post. What are we doing? Calm down. Hmm. 
I don't know if anybody else has, has experienced this. I think, obviously, for me as well, tactics that worked when I started this save, because of updates and stuff, don't work now. So it's it's definitely been one of those situations as well. Rosalia finds Dembele. What can we do from here? Let's go attacking. I don't feel like we've got much to lose. Let's go attacking. <clears throat> if we go out of the cup, we go out of the cup. Rating wise, apparently by individual player, we're doing better than they are, um, which is a shock and a surprise. Uh, but yeah, apparently so. It makes me nervous when we go down this side with Nambulin. See, why is Nambulin chasing there? He's pulled himself so out of position. And they, they nearly scored from the fact that he's pulled himself out of position there. But I don't know how to stop him. He's not supposed to be roaming from that position, as far as I'm concerned. Stay wider, mark tighter. Closing down sometimes, because he... Less. Less Nambulin, because you're crap. Hold position. Absolutely useless. He's just giving up so much space. And defensively. I mean he's on a 6.2. Because he's chasing players down. And he just can't do it. He can't do it. He's trying to chase them down. Um, we can still win this. I believe we can still win this anyway. It is definitely... <clears throat> we are a little bit... All over the place. At the minute I've not made a single substitution. So let's hope... That... Fresh legs... Now... Um, gives us a little bit of the impetus... To go on now. I'm going to bring Gary and Goebbels on up front. Both as complete forward supports. <clears throat> and let's exploit the middle. It's a shame I can't bring Nambulin off. I should put Mendy on the bends. He's been... What's frustrating is last season he was great. Last season he had a very good season. He, uh, it was perfect replacement for for Mendy <clears throat> to to rotate both of them. But this year he's been awful, and that was great. Um, let's let's not shoot like that, shall we? Not Chinoglu. Um, yeah, last year he was good. He he was perfect coming in for Mendy, but this year he's just not done it. Let's take off hit early crosses playing like this and look for the overlap I want to flood them with too many instructions I, I, this year for me too many instructions doesn't work I don't know if that's different for other people they may score here but too many instructions I found this year doesn't work Sonder that's going to be a goal 3-2. It looks like we're going out of the cup. Fantastic. It's going so well. I'm loving my time in France. It's been god-awful this season. I've never found myself in a position where I'm just like... I, I don't know what works. Because at this moment in time, nothing works. So... Ah, uh, swap into the four three three is not. It's just invited them onto us, really. It's not, we've not created anything from it because we can't hold possession. That's one hundred percent apparent. We're playing a tactic now where we should be holding on to the ball, and we're not. We're not defensively once again. 
Um, apart from Danilo, we've been awful. Um, so I'm just in that reoccurring position of, well, what do we do? Inside forward attack. Winger support. Oh. I'm quite happy just to see the game out now. We've been awful again. And um <coughs> I do feel like there is a heavy potential here that we will be sacked this season. It's two sat blazes that over the ball. No, over the bar, sorry. Yeah, I feel like there's one hundred percent the potential we're gonna get sacked here. Um it has not worked out. Another free two. And this this is my biggest problem. So over the last two games, we've conceded five goals. Two free twos. Yes, we've scored five, but we've conceded five. I don't want to be conceding five. We give away possession far too easy. They've had 19 shots. Full time. In extra time. And the uh, the match stats do not look good. Simply put, was not good enough. Uh, Taloy, you've just come into the club, mate. I'm not happy with that performance. Nambulin seems composed. Aggressive. I'm not happy with your performance. I don't care if you look stressed. A 6.2, giving away possession twice. Two of them led to goals. You know, I've got no interest in you. To be honest with you. Who else played awful? It was just those two in defence really. So in this is the thing I'm noticing. Individual defensive mistakes. Well they're costing us. And uh, did we go 2-1 up? I'm pretty sure we did didn't we? Yeah. We went 2-1 up and managed to lose the game. So again cannot keep hold of... Uh, of results but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this episode as you can tell i'm pretty frustrated to be honest with you with the complete and whole utter situation of not being able to get anything to work it's the goals conceded it's the shots they're having our long shots it's us losing possession continuously um it's very frustrating we're giving them space in the penalty box i don't understand why i don't know what to particularly do to change that i'm gonna have to go in and and look at the tactics like very deeply and see what is going wrong but at this moment in time things are not well at leon and there is the potential that in the next episode um it could be me telling you we've been sacked um hopefully not but it could be but anyway guys thanks a lot for watching thanks for the support and I'll catch you, hopefully, still as Leon manager in the next one.